In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed a video into the middle of your Adobe Captivate project. I can't believe I haven't done this already. One of the easiest and simplest things to do, but some, again, something that people don't know that they can do or they're not sure how they can do it, uh, I'm going to cover this off. Surprisingly, I did do a video on adding closed captioning to embedded videos. Uh, and of course, I'll, I'll put a link in the description um, for you guys to check, check that out. Uh, you can also see it by clicking here if you need to see it right away. But uh, check the description for a link to that video if you'd like to see how to add closed captioning to videos that you've embedded into your Adobe Captivate project. So I'm going to cover this off. This should be a real simple short video. Uh, all you need to do is know about the media icon uh, drop down icon rather. So I'm going to click this guy here and you'll see an entry for video with that little icon next to it. Um, or Control Alt V will also allow you to import a video. Now you're going to get this insert video dialog. We have a choice of choosing event video or multi-slide synchronized video. If you have uh, flash videos that are already on a web server or a streaming server, uh, this is probably where you're going to want to go. If you're like me, of course, and just have a video file and you just want to pop it in your course, let's stick with multi-slide synchronized video. Synchronized means it's synchronized with your project. Uh, multi-slide is an option so don't get too hung up on that. If you wanted your video to appear across multiple slides, that's an opportunity here as well. We're not going to do that today. We're just going to show you basically one slide, one video, and, uh, and it's that simple. So I'm going to browse to where I've stored my video. It's on my desktop. Oh, I've just noticed it's not here. Um, yeah, and the reason for that is that there actually is only six different video formats that Adobe Captivate will import. FLV, F4V, which is a, a version of FLV, AVI, uh, MP4, and uh, .MOV, which is I think QuickTime, and 3GP, which is what you would typically find with smartphone videos or, or uh, cell phone videos. So, what can you do when you don't have a compatible format? Well, the great thing about Adobe Captivate is that they include um, a program called Adobe Media Encoder. And this allows you to take almost any type of media and convert it to almost any other type of media. So I'm going to take that Windows video file drag it over to Adobe Media Encoder, specifically to this Q window within the application. And you'll see that it will suggest to convert to F4V, which is fine. Um, in fact, I may change that. I may change it to um, H264, which is uh, if you're planning on publishing this for HTML, output you may want to choose that option and uh, I can choose one of the presets there's a whole bunch of different screen resolutions and so forth so you could find something that's you know close to the appropriate size for your window um, or you can actually customize this by clicking this right here which will bring up an export settings window Here's where I'm going to just type in uh, a resolution. I might get an error message, but you know it usually goes through no problem. And I'm just going to make this 700 because I know I'm pasting this into a video, sorry, a project that's 800 by 600. So if I choose a width of video to be around 700, and it's going to resize the height for me automatically to 394, which is perfect. I'm going to click OK. So now I've got this set up to convert the file. To do that, I just need to click on the Start queue, or I could press the Return key. Uh, you'll see a preview of the encoding process down here. I won't show that right now because it is kind of time consuming. 
I've gone ahead and already done this for you for the purpose of this video, so we'll just close the media encoder for now. And I'll browse to the appropriate location where I saved that video. So here it is. It originally was that Windows Media video format. Now it's MP4, which should work perfectly. So I'm going to open this, and it's got the um, file path here. Uh, again, I'm not doing a streaming service, so I'm not going to choose one of these two options. I'm going to stick with progressive download. Uh, again, I, I want to have this appear on my stage, which is your Adobe Captivate project. So we'll keep that as stage. Uh, table of contents would be an option if you wanted the video to appear above the table of contents in your upper left hand corner and synchronized with a whole bunch of videos, or sorry, a whole bunch of slides at that point. Again, we're just doing one video, one slide. And instead of distributing the video across slides, you know, we're going to just modify the slide duration. If you take a look at the slide duration, I think it's only about three seconds. But choosing this option, of course, will allow you to resize the, or sorry, uh, redistribute the length of the slide to match the length of the video. So let's click on OK and see what happens. So there's my video. I can, of course, uh, reposition where it appears on the screen. I'm just going to move this down a little bit so it's not so close to my title. And we're pretty, pretty good to go. So let's preview this. Alternatively, you could publish it as well at this point. But uh, we'll just do it in browser so you can see what this looks like. So there we are. There's my video. Um, I know it says English 101 here, but maybe this is a cooking show. And we're learning how to do uh, tempeniaki style cooking uh, from my friend here in Jamaica. Um, this is just one of my vacation videos. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm, I'm doing for you, if you really enjoy them and, and you're finding that they're helping you out, I encourage that you subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll put a subscribe button on your screen right here. And also, if you like this particular video, I ask that you give me a thumbs up.